Mrs. Bennet? Mrs. Bennet? It's Noah King. Mrs. Gordon? Are you in there? Miss Gordon? Somebody answer.
I'm not going to hurt you. Help me. Oh. That's more like it. Now, calm down. Let me go. Please. Relax. I am not going to hurt you. Then why did you chase me? But why did you run? I was afraid. That girl in the street, I thought... That I killed her? Well, now, look, it will make you feel any better. Think this over. If I had killed her, I'd be miles away from here by now, wouldn't I? I suppose you're right. It's just that the whole city's so quiet and empty. I... Well, what could have happened? I wish I knew. Everything since dinner last night is a complete blank to me. I don't understand. Well, I only got here from Detroit yesterday afternoon. Just killing time between trains. I should have known better than to flash a big roll in a bar. You mean you were robbed? Yeah, and slugged and dumped in an alley. Oh, then you were unconscious through most of the night. Oh, I came to about noon. The only thing I had left was a headache. I have to say, I owe you an apology. Well, that makes us even. You know the way back to the center of town? Yes. Well, we better get moving. Yeah. Have a lot better chance of finding out what's happened when we get there. Not that it's so important at a time like this, but my name is Frank Brooks. I'm, I'm Nora King. Hi. Hello. How come you're still in town? I was asleep in my room, and the door was locked. Well, then you haven't any idea what happened last night. No. Have you? Well, there's been an evacuation of some kind, but the question is why? DH bomb. Maybe there's going to be an attack. Oh, it's possible, but I don't think so. The enemy wouldn't give us advance notice of a thing like that. What about our radar system? Four or five hours warning at best. It's taken at least twice that long to evacuate the city. Well, then how about germ warfare? There's been a lot of talk about that. The water isn't running. As far as that goes, none of the utilities are working. Well, in that case, there'd still be patrols around town. The army, the police, civilian defense. You know, for some reason, they had to get everybody out of town. But there were half a million people here yesterday. Now, for all we know, there are just the two of us left. It doesn't make sense. It has to. It happened. And in about 12 hours, too. I wonder if there's anyone else left in town. There's probably a few. You ever try to empty a sack of sugar? Hmm? What's that got to do with it? Some of the grains always stick to the sack, like the two of us. There's something tells me we'd better get out of here fast. How would you like to go? Bus or taxi? I'm serious, Nora. The only reason they'd clear out an entire city like this would be to get away from certain death. That would mean anyone still here is well, a dead pigeon. Funny, I was so anxious trying to find somebody, anybody, that I never thought of that. I did. You don't seem to be worried at all. Maybe not. Not of dying, anyway. Dying is such a normal thing, but with nobody around We'd now. better start walking toward the center of town. If we only knew how much time we have. I just had an idea. If we could get our hands on a portable battery radio, we might be able to... Okay, let me take you back for a minute. What are you going to do? Hold this. I'll stand back so you don't get cut by flying glass. Ah, so far, so good. You know, they shoot people for looting at times like this. I don't care, just so we find a radio that works. Oh, I don't see any. 
Uh, you check that display case. I'll see if there's anything back here. Frank, look. Oh, I'm afraid you're wasting your time. The phones are out, too. I checked a couple of them earlier. Any luck? I'm afraid not. Looks like you're not doing too well, even. Oh, we're not licked yet. Let's try the back room. Well, this is more like it. There must be at least one set in all this junk. Well, ordinarily, I suppose there would be, but portables would be at a premium at a time like this. The Army probably ordered everyone who could to carry one. Nora, I found one. Turn it on, quick. Oh, no battery. I'll probably ship them separately. There must be one somewhere. Oh, it's no use, Nora. I've already checked that shelf. There isn't a battery in the place. We're right back where we started. Well, at least we're still alive. But for how long? It's getting worse every minute, isn't it? Look, we'd better get out of here. We can't afford to waste any more time. What's that? Be quiet and listen. Sounds like a piano. Coming from up the street. Well, let's take a look. The whole town's deserted. We might be blown up any minute, and somebody's in there playing the piano as if they didn't even care. Yeah. Wait here while I check. You mean alone? All right. Come on, but be quiet. Joint is us anyway. Treat a lady like that. Wallaby. Paul Roger, 43, or uh, Bollinger, 48? Makes no difference, just so it's wet. Right. That's good enough for you. Good enough. Let's have one of each. Like old times, eh, Vicky? Are you kidding me? When'd you ever buy me champagne? Oh, I was saving it for our honeymoon. Look, Niagara Falls. Well, what do you know? After 10 years, I finally made it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't understand. They're celebrating as though it were New Year's Eve. Maybe they just like privacy. Either they're crazy or we are. Only one way to find out. Come on. But what do you know? Hey, Vicky, we got guests. What did I tell you? We weren't the only ones left behind. Come on, sit down. Join the party. Hey, what are you two doing here? Waiter, glasses, please. Very good, madam. <laughs> oh, now, look, the whole city's deserted. We've been all over town looking for someone. What are you doing here? Living, man. Really living. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, hey, you ain't the guy that owns this dump, are you? No. Hardly. I'm Nora King. This is Frank Brooks from Detroit. Detroit, huh? You sure picked a fine time to visit this town. <laughs> you can say that again. You sure picked a fine time. All right, we heard you the first time. That's Vicki Harris. Never shuts up. I'm Jim Wilson. Well, now that we're all friends, how about some champagne? You mean you're going to sit here and, and whoop it up when heaven knows what's going to happen or when? Not just here, lady. There are a lot of high-class joints I always wanted to crash. The St. Regis, the Ritz, we're gonna hit them all. That's what you said last night. Now look at the spot we're in. Hey, honey, you look like you could stand something to eat. At a time like this, no thanks. Now, wait a minute, Nora, she's right. We'd better have something while we figure out what to do next. Well, there's everything in the joint from roast turkey to salami. I'll see what I can whip up. Uh, doll face, fill her up. <laughs> I said I wanted a drink, not a bath. 
How about a little more turkey? Mm, not me. One more bite and I'd split my girdle. Mm, I know just what you mean. You know, there's no telling how long it'll be before we run across any more food like this. We ought to try to figure out a way to take some with us. What makes you think we're going anywhere? Well, use your head. You can't stay here indefinitely. Why not? We're doing all right. Yeah, maybe, but uh, our luck can't hold out forever. We should at least try to get out of town. What? And leave all this? Not on your life. We never had it so good, right, Vicky? Right. I spoiled the party. First decent joint you've taken me to in ten years. That's only because it's free. Fill her up. Crazy dame. You know, this isn't the only good nightclub in town. Why don't we try the uh, Club Royale? Now you're talking. What? That's over five miles away on the main highway. Well, what of it? There ought to be plenty of places along the way we can stop. And who knows, we may even find a portable radio while we're at it. Well, if you put it like that, okay. Let's go. Oh. Sure you can make it? <laughs> Are you kidding? <laughs> Come on, honey. I'm with you. Well, swing low, sweet chariot. <laughs> Just when my feet were beginning to kill me. Be my guest. <gasps> His face. Just like the girl in the alley. I think I'm gonna be sick. Better give Vicky a hand. How do you think it happened? Wish I knew. The keys are still in ignition. Help me get them out of the way. Let's see if we can get this thing started. No use. The battery's probably dead. The battery must be dead. The radio doesn't work either. Let's have a look under the hood. Looks like somebody beat us to it. Let's hope I'm a better mechanic than he was. What's wrong? The distributor cap is off and the arm is missing. What does that mean in English? It means you can't get the engine started. Who are you? Otis is the name. Charles Otis. I hope I didn't frighten you. Oh, no. I always shake like this. What are you doing here? Trying to get out of town, like yourselves. Only it won't do any good to look for a car in running condition. What makes you so sure of that? I tried it half a dozen in the last three or four miles. The distributor arms are missing, and all of them. Who are you trying to kid? Not so fast, Jim. It seems to me they did something like this in England during the war when they thought they'd be invaded. Did what? Order the distributor caps removed whenever a car was left unattended. But that still doesn't explain why he was killed. Well, here's one gal that's not going to hang around wondering, even if I have to walk clear out of this state. Which way did you come? From the north, uptown. You'd never believe it. The whole town's a wreck. Windows smashed. Houses and stores wrecked. There must have been a lot of looting before everyone cleared out. That figures. Did you see any people? About a dozen. Like that. They all seemed to be killed the same way. There was one guy just outside an art store. Must have been trying to get away with a painting when... when they got him. That means they're already in the north end of town. And in the west, near my rooming house. Frank, I'm scared. You're not the only one. Look! Over there on the wall! I'm getting out of here. Don't be a fool. If you run out there, he'll spot us all. Well, what do we do? Back against the wall. Quick! Take it easy, hon. He can't see us from where he is. He doesn't look human. Don't let the shadow fool you. What else could it be? I wish I knew. It's going away. 
Yeah. For how long? We can't stay here. We'll be killed, like all the others. Shut your mouth or I'll shut it for you. That hotel over there. Ought to be easy enough to get inside. Yeah, for us or for them? Both. We have to make a break for it and hope we make it before they spot us. Well, then let's get started. Anything's better than standing out in the open like this. I'll go ahead. And, and if the coast is clear, I'll wave. Who? What if it isn't? Then you can be the next guinea pig. Be careful. Don't worry. The street's probably a lot safer now than it is when the traffic is normal. Do you think they spotted us? We'll know. Soon enough. Hey, Jim, do you see anything? Not a sign of them. The street's deserted. Aren't you the optimistic soul? Come on. What do we do now? Well, we have to figure a way out of this. It's not going to be easy. We don't even know what we're up against. Take a look at this. A state of national emergency was declared yesterday when hostile forces of unknown origin landed in open country approximately 50 miles due north of the city at 11 o'clock last night. While little is known as to strengthen deployment of the enemy at this time, Bruce K. Peterson, in charge of civil defense for this area, ordered immediate evacuation of the city. I knew it was bad, but this... I don't believe it. Mystery man. Who are they kidding? That shadow on the wall. He could... I mean, they could be anywhere. Thousands of them. I don't think so. At least not yet. If they operate like we did during the last war, the one who almost spotted us was part of an advance patrol. Then the rest won't be far behind. We're trapped. Right in the middle. They'll kill us all, I tell you. Take They'll it easy. We've got plenty of trouble without you blowing your top. What do you expect me to do? Stand still while you sound off on military tactics? You got any better ideas? You bet I have. I'm getting out of here, now. You're doing nothing of the kind. I'm warning you. Don't you try to stop me. But you can't go. It's suicide. They'll spot you before you've gone 50 feet. I'll take my chances. It'll be a lot easier getting past a few of them than waiting here for the whole army to show up. Wait a minute. seen the rest of us. Listen, we'd be better off upstairs. Chances are they won't take time to search all the buildings. Look, get over there by the stairs. I'll grab some keys from the desk. Come on, let's go. Okay. This ought to do it. 402 to 404 must be a suite. Go ahead. Yourself home. Oh, what do you know? It's a bridal suite at last. 
I settled for a tent about a thousand miles from here. I know what you mean. Right now, even my desk at the home office would look good. Let's check the joint just in case. Good idea. Yeah. safe up here. Hey, this is swell layout. Yeah. Come on. Well? Well, what do you think? I'm afraid we haven't much choice. At least it's comfortable. You know, maybe it isn't as bad as we think. The Army must be doing something. Yeah, only in the meantime, we got to play hide-and-seek with a bunch of zombies from Mars or wherever they come from. He's right, Frank. They're bound to find out where we are sooner or later. Yeah, I know. Well, about the only thing we can do is wait till it's dark and then try to sneak out of town toward the south. You're not forgetting what happened to Otis, are you? I'm not forgetting a thing. Gentlemen, I don't have to tell you the situation is critical. Since roughly 2300 last night, when the first units landed here in Sector B-97, we have been confronted with an enemy the like of which defies description. Who or what they are is, is an open question. We won't know the answers till we take a few prisoners. So far, we haven't been able to do that. All we can be sure of is this. The invasion was not launched by any power on the surface of this Earth. What about the scientists, General? Haven't they any idea where the enemy could have originated? The consensus of theories points to the planet Venus. Assuming, of course, that the invaders are human beings like ourselves. Is there any reason to believe they're not? Frankly, we don't know what to think. What fragmentary reports we've been able to piece together indicate they behave like automatons. Apparently completely indifferent to personal danger. So far, they've made no effort to break out of the city, but that's only a matter of time. How many of them? Not more than several hundred at most. They're obviously only an advanced element for the main force. Well, a few hundred men shouldn't be much of a problem. That's what we thought. The first contact was made by the 387th Airborne at about 2,400. They were wiped out to a man. At the present moment, our main line of defense is here in a semicircle, roughly 10 miles south of the city line. The third armored is holding down the left flank here, and the seventh is on the right. They're both pretty much chewed up by now. General Wood, sir. What is it? Airstrike in progress against the main enemy position. Colonel Meade thought you'd want to follow by radar.
By the Alloys? I think so. Then they're going to bomb the city. Just keep your fingers crossed that we're not in the middle of the target. have weapons we've never even dreamed of. Well, that figures. They were smart enough to get here in the first place. Who are they, Frank? Where can they come from? Who can tell? My guess would be Venus. What makes you say that? As far as I know, it's the only planet that might be capable of supporting human life. It's covered by a heavy layer of clouds. That means plenty of water, oxygen, and hydrogen in its atmosphere. Say, where'd you learn all this? College. <laughs> Only I didn't get it all from the classrooms. I had a buddy named Richard Banks, a regular science fiction bug. He got me reading the magazines, too. Don't tell me you believe all that stuff. Oh, not all of it, but some of those writers weren't too far off the beam. There's plenty of evidence of that right outside. Yeah, and if the Air Force couldn't get past those guys, it don't look too good for us. Those planes were shot down a good 15 miles south of here. That would mean the whole city must be surrounded. You mean even if we did get out of here after dark, it wouldn't do any good, hmm? I'm afraid we wouldn't get any further than Otis did. Oh, you guys are a big help. Things aren't rough enough, you have to scare her half to death. Well, all I said was... Yeah. Oh, skip it. Vicky's right. We did act like a couple of chumps. I'm sorry, Nora. I shouldn't have said that. Why not? It's the truth. Well, we might still have a chance to get out of this. After all, we know the Air Force is still fighting. Only we're right in the middle. Funny, isn't it? This time yesterday, I wouldn't have cared if they dropped an H-bomb right on the roof. What do you mean? This afternoon when you found me, I told you I'd slept through the evacuation. Well, didn't that sound a little peculiar to you? Maybe I didn't think it was any of my business then. And now? A lot's happened since then. Now I want to know everything I can about you. Would it make any difference if I told you the reason I slept through everything was because... because I never intended to wake up at all? I tried to kill myself last night, Frank. Sleeping pills. I know what you're thinking. Otis wanted to live and he died. I wanted to die and... Oh, I guess it doesn't make much sense. Suicide never does. But why should a girl like you... Well, have... What do you know about me? I could be anything. A thief, a murderess. Even worse. No, I don't think so. Whatever you did, there must have been a very good reason. You don't need a reason to die, Frank. Just one to live. Somehow I thought that I didn't have one anymore. You still feel that way? I don't know why, but everything's changed. Now that it's too late to do anything about it. Right. What have you got? A report from 337th Fighter Bomber Command. Any of them get through? Not a one, sir. If those jets can't get through, nothing can. What about the atomic artillery? Well, we got the new models that were flown in an hour ago. They won't be assembled for several hours. Are they sending us the new guided missiles? Yes, we received those along with the atomic artillery. 
I never thought the day would come when we turned them against one of our own cities. There won't be a building left standing. I know, I know. It can't be helped. Urgent dispatch, sir, from Colonel Powers, 7th Armored Division. We've captured one. How'd they do it? A tank crew picked him up by the side of the road in sector B-107. It says it was completely inactive, lying there. Where is he now? They're bringing him into the lab, sir. The lab? Why not to interrogation? We'll find out when we get over there. Come on. There's a third pair in the last ten minutes. I wonder where they're going. I don't know. But I got a good suggestion for them. Vicky, how can you joke at a time like this? Don't kid yourself, honey. The only reason I open my trap is to keep my teeth from chattering. Those things out there are bad enough in broad daylight. It's going to be dark pretty soon. You know, I was just thinking, as long as we have to stay here, we might as well do it the right way. Now, there must be a flashlight or some candles around somewhere. Why don't I go and look for them? Can you go downstairs alone? With all those creeps around, not on your life. Well, we have to have some light, and who knows, I might be able to find some food. All right, but I'm going with you. Well, one of us ought to stay here with the girls. All right, you stay. Oh, we're so gallant all of a sudden. Yesterday, you wouldn't even stand up to give me a seat on the bus. Yeah, and today, the buses aren't running anymore. Jim's right, Frank. You should both go. It's the only fair thing to yeah, do. What about you and Vicky? Don't worry about us. We'll lock ourselves in till you get back. Come on, get started while there's still some light. Come on. stop them anywhere. Well, at least now we know what we're up against. We only had a little time to work out a defense. Well, we've already started electronic research. The objective being to find out what caused this break. We might have a few hours if we're lucky and they hold off reinforcing their advance elements. Has the general staff been notified? Yes, sir. Major Reynolds sent an urgent message. Good. They'll probably want to fly in a team from G2. Order the landing strip in Able Sector held at all costs. Yes, sir. That'll take almost four hours. I doubt that we'll have the time. I understand, General. We'll do everything we can, just in case. <laughs> Keep away from the window, Nora. It's no use taking any more chances than we have to. I'm sorry. I guess I wasn't thinking. We shouldn't have let them go, Vicky. Something's gone wrong. I know it. Hey. Hey, take it easy, kid. They've been gone almost 20 minutes. If anything's happened to Frank, I'll, I'll never forgive myself. I thought you just met him today. What's that got to do with it? Nothing. Not a thing. It's just that way with me and Jim. Only neither one of us was smart enough to do anything about it. Hey, open up. It's us. Oh, I thought you'd never get back. Uh, hey, you hit the jackpot. You ain't seen nothing yet. I uh, better wait till I make sure the drapes are drawn tightly. Okay. There you are. All the comforts are home. Sure, if you like haunted houses. Don't you two ever do anything besides insult each other? Well, we have our moments. 
Yeah, but this isn't one of them. Oh, funny. How long do you think we'll have to stay here? I'm afraid that's up to the Army. Yeah, but whose? Ours or theirs? You have to do that. You'd think you were in a cage or something the way you keep pacing around. What do you want me to do? Take a nice long walk out in the street? A few more hours in this flea trap and we'll all be stir crazy. Well, at least we're still alive. Now sit down and keep your mouth shut. Who do you think you are ordering me around like a train monkey? You think we were married or something? Well, if we're not, it ain't because you haven't been trying for the last 10 years. Go ahead. Rub it in. I ought to have my head examined for putting up with you at all. We wouldn't be here now if you'd listened to me last night. Sure, the whole thing's my fault. I even planned the invasion. We still could have been evacuated with the others. But no. No, you had to drink your way through half the bars in town. All right, so I did a little celebrating. How often does a guy hit the daily double at 60 to 1? Once in 10 years, if you're any example. Let's live, baby. I hit the GGs for 240 clams. Ha! A lot of good the money is now. You didn't have to come along. You ain't the only blonde around. Crazy dame. Oh, Jim. Why do we have to fight like this all the time? I don't know, baby. I'll tell you one thing. If we ever get out of this thing alive, we'll do all our fighting from the same corner from now on. Fireworks over? For a few rounds, anyway. You know what's funny about those two? Gee, they needle each other every minute. Yet when the chips are down... I know. Jerry and I were a lot like that. Jerry? My husband. Thanks. What happened to your husband? He was killed in an automobile accident six months ago. Oh, we were arguing just like Jim and Vicky. I was driving, never even saw the car that hit us. When I regained consciousness in the hospital, they... they told me Jerry was dead. You've been blaming yourself ever since. Is that why you took those sleeping pills? I know how you must feel, Nora, but you can't keep on letting it get you like it did last night. I'm sorry. It, it's just that I've never been able to talk about it. To know. We've been on the go for nearly 14 hours. What you need is a little sleep. With one of those things or whatever they are alive would have burst in here any minute. Well, I haven't tried anything yet. I think we're safe enough until morning. And after that? Look, you share the bedroom with Vicky. Jim and I will be in the other room, just in case anything happens. for the time being. All right, cut in your generator. So that's what makes them tick. Electronics. Well, let's call it a system of electromagnetic impulses. By exerting positive or negative charges, as the case may be, 
They've been able to duplicate every desired motion of the human body. Hmm. What's it made of? Surgical steel, according to all the usual tests. But how they make it pliable in the joints is something else. An army of machines, incapable of pain, fear, or compassion, and practically indestructible. Well, there's got to be a human element somewhere. No machine can think for itself. Now, we're coming to that. Barton, would you set up the helmet for another test, please? Now, as far as we've been able to determine, these robots operate on a radar principle, utilizing the super high frequencies. Like our homing type guided missiles. Well, precisely. First, an image is picked up on the cathode ray tube, which is mounted in the face of the helmet. From there, it's transmitted to some control point or monitor station by this. I've never seen anything like it. Are you sure this is a transmitter? It has to be from the position it occupied in the helmet in relation to the cathode tube. Actually, it operates on a completely different principle from anything we've ever developed. What's its frequency range? <laughs> so far, we haven't been able to figure it out. Well, what about the antenna? The length of that ought to give you a lead. There is no antenna. They must utilize a, a portion of the surface of the shell, or perhaps the entire robot. Then there's no way we can jam it and put their whole army out of commission. I'm afraid not. Well, what about the control point? They have to correlate their information somewhere and send back the impulses to guide the machines. Well, that all depends on the strength of the transmitter. Could be only a few miles. On the other hand, it might reach all the way back to their home base. Whatever that may be. Mm, there's got to be a weak point somewhere. What about the cathode ray tube? It was damaged, wasn't it? That's right. It was the only visible damage. And we figure that it put the entire mechanism out of commission. Well, if that's the case, you mean all we have to do is knock out the cathode ray tube? <laughs> Except for two things. In the first place, nobody's ever been able to get that close to one without being annihilated. In the second? I'll show you. Everything's set, Tom. Thank you, Barton. Now, as you can see, this is a standard M1 semi-automatic rifle. It's aimed squarely at the center of the undamaged portion of the tube. Now, if you gentlemen will just stand back. Didn't even ricochet. Just flattened down like a wad of chewing gum. That's right. I don't know how that tube was cracked originally, but we'll never do it with a bullet, even at point-blank range. before you get hurt. All right, now back off in the center of the room. Let's go. That goes for you too, Junior. Start moving. Do as he says, Jim. Please. Not so fast. Who are you and what do you want? You heard what the lady said. Start moving. It's 
better. Is there any light in here? There's a candle on the table right behind you. Suppose we all keep calm and have a little talk. Nice and friendly like. Oh, sure. All my friends carry guns. Why did you take a shot at us through the door? What did you expect me to do? Stand still while you chop my hand off? We thought you were one of the invaders. <laughs> you know something. I thought the same thing about you. All right, so we all made a mistake. You're gonna hold that gun on us all night? I don't know yet. It all depends on you. chain of resistors went out. We'll have to start again from scratch. How long will it take? How oh, about an hour, unless his playmates beat us to the punch. Look, do you have to do that? What are you talking about? In the last half hour, you've done everything but kiss that gun. Gives me the creeps. Well, no, I'm real sorry. I didn't know you were the sensitive type. She's not, but I am. I'll put that away before somebody gets hurt. I wouldn't try anything if I were you. Wouldn't be smart. Forget it, Tim. Guess I'm jumpy and I thought. We all are, since he showed up. Look, if you don't like this setup, why don't you leave? Wouldn't have a chance by myself. And neither would you, without this gun. No matter how you figure it, we're just stuck with each other. Nora, come on, let's try to get some sleep. What time is it? 6.15. Sun's coming up. What happens now? We can't leave until we're sure they're gone. Let's pray they don't search the building. You know, I don't know which is worse. Taking a chance outside or being cooped up here with that trigger-happy screwball. You mean Davis? Yeah. Every time he looks at me, I... Yeah, I know what you mean. You know, this may sound crazy, but I swear I've seen that guy somewhere before. It's possible. He could have lived or worked in your own neighborhood. You could have passed him on the street a dozen times. That is what I meant. Here's another thing. Why wasn't he evacuated like everybody else in town? You forget they overlooked us, too. We've only got ourselves to blame. Maybe. Only what about that gun? Huh? I'm not sure, but it looks just like a police revolver. <gasps> now you are imagining things. And if it were true, how would you know? Are you kidding? There isn't a flat foot I'd... Ah, uh, skip it. I must be off my rocker. Boy, what I need is a drink. 
There's some beer in the kitchen. It's probably awfully warm by now. Honey, I don't care if it's on fire. I'll get it. I want to see if Frank's awake anyway. Suit yourself. I always did like breakfast in bed. I will be a minute. Mm-hmm. scared you. What do you want? Well, let's say you've been waiting for a chance to talk to you. Alone. Not now. Please, I'm tired. Later on. Not very friendly, are you? It's my privilege. Well, maybe you'd like to change your mind. <laughs> I'll remember that. So will I. Now, let me pass. Use your head, Nora. I'm in a tight spot. I can get us out of here alive. How? Now, look. There's a main sewer line on 7th Street, only a block from here. Once we reach it, we could double back behind their lines. We'd be safe. How come you haven't told the others? <laughs> Why should I? We couldn't all make it without being spotted. We could try. Uh-huh. No, I got other plans for them. Yes, I think we use them as decoys. While they're being run down, we make a break in the opposite direction. Just you and me. You mean you'd, you'd kill all the others just to save your own life? Yours, too. Don't forget that. You must be insane if you think I do. You shouldn't have said that, Nora. I don't like people who think I'm crazy. Let me go! Frank, help yeah, Frank! Call your wife and call them all. You had your chance. All right, take your hands off her. You why you pull him. All right. All right, now back out in the center of the living room. All of you. Let's go. Figure it at 14 millimeters. I got it. Where will we start the machine? We better start it at 30,000. We'll bring it up at controlled intervals from there. Right. How long will it take? For just a few minutes. We're making some last minute changes now. You still figure the answer's in the cathode ray tube? It's got to be. Because we're hampered by the fact that the surface is an integral part of the helmet itself. We couldn't dare risk taking it out. This is our last chance, Tom. The atomic artillery and guided missiles are all assembled and in position. We don't come up with anything in the next five minutes. I've got orders to start shelling the city. All right, sir. Good. Now, if you gentlemen just stand over there.
Okay. This is far enough for now. What are you trying to prove, Davis? You'll find out when I'm good and ready to tell you. Go on up front and see if you can spot any of our playmates on the street. If you're so interested, go see for yourself. I said get moving before this gun happens to go off in somebody's belly. Stay where you are, Vicky. He hasn't enough nerve to shoot. Well, I wouldn't count on it if I were you. You win. See anything? Sure. There's one out there on the front lawn. Having a picnic. How far away is it? About 50 yards on the other side of the street. Moving away from us. Good. We'll give it a couple of minutes. You talk as though you expect to go out there. I'm not. But you are. Oh. And what makes you so sure of that? Because I've got the gun. So that's it. We're the pigeons, so you can take off while that thing out there chases us. Well, now you catch on real quick. But that would be murder. Maybe. Only this time, nobody can do a thing about it. This time? Sure. I knew he looked familiar. He's the guy that killed that dame down on Skid Row about a month ago. It was in all the papers. That's right. Big headlines. Lots of pictures. Just like there'll be when I found out I killed the guard and got a waiter in the evacuation. So that's why you stayed behind. You didn't dare leave the city. They'll be watching every road out of town. Sure. Every road except the ones behind the enemy lines. Now all I need is a five minute start. And you're gonna give it to me. Now get moving, all of you. But you can't do this. Well, what'll it be, guys? Take a chance on the street or get it here? It won't work, Buster. We're going to die anyway. One of us will get you first. I'm warning you. Keep back. You won't shoot. Crazy dame.
see if you can find a way to another roof. There must be a ladder somewhere. Over there, quick! Right. Folks okay? We are now. But if you'd got here 30 seconds later, it would have been a different story. What are you doing in the city anyway? Don't you know it's a combat zone? You should have been evacuated like everybody else. I guess we were overlooked. By the time we guessed what was happening, it was too late to leave. Those men were everywhere. Not men, lady. They were robots. A whole army of them. No wonder the bullets wouldn't stop them. Nothing will. Except this. I don't understand. What is it? An oscillator. You heard the noise it puts out. We discovered the robots couldn't take the vibrations of the sound waves. Smashes the glass in their cathode ray tube. You mean the vibrations smash the tubes? That's right. Puts them out of commission and nothing flat. And you mean the city and the whole world is safe again? Maybe. Till the next time. What makes you so sure there'll be a next time? Well, from what I was told, if they would have used a certain metal instead of glass in that tube, all the oscillators in the world couldn't have stopped them. But don't worry, folks. We're working on that right now. Hop in the Jeep and we'll see what the medics can do with that arm. <laughs> 